All right, building on our knowledge from the previous videos, I want to start talking about stateless functional components. So in React, this is the way that we're usually building things. We've got a class, it extends component, it's got a render method, but we don't have to actually create a class that extends component. If all we're doing inside of it is this, if we're just doing a render, then we don't have to turn it into a class. We don't have to extend component. We can build what is known as a stateless functional component. So we can do it even in the same file here. Right here, I'm trying to build something called navlink. So I can, if I want, leave it in the external file, or I can just put it here. It doesn't have to be in a separate file. So everything that I'm going to do here can be in a separate file or can be in the same file. We want to create a function called navlink. That was the name of the thing that we're importing here. So I'm just going to comment that out. I'm building this function and it's going to return an object. Inside of here, the thing it's returning, well, it's really just the same code as this. I am taking this right here. Paste that inside of here. This is what I want to build. I want to build that anchor tag so it comes out like this. When I do my map through the array and I'm looping through creating all these navlink objects, this navlink object is going to be calling this and returning an object. Now it will, when it calls navlink, when React takes care of this for me and calls the function navlink to build this object, it will pass in a props object like this. Now I have an object called props, which will look just like this. I can remove the keyword this. I can remove the keyword this here. So it's props that are being passed in dot info dot URL props dot info dot label. That's what I'm passing in here. This info object is going to be inside the props that are passed into this function. And that's it. I save it. It recompiles. And we bring it back up, and there it is. It's still working, so it's doing the same thing. Nav menu has four nav links inside of it. The four nav links contain this. This is the value that was returned from our function. So that's it. That is a stateless functional component. There's no state inside of it. The function right here that we built is the same as the class, and we can turn our class components into stateless functional components if there's one if this is the only thing that we're doing inside of here if we're just doing a render method then we can just write it as a function and it's surprising how many of these components in our website really only are there to have a render method to do some imports there we have it I'm importing the CSS here as well so I have access to it for right here it's got the same name it just it's not a class that extends so it's not an object that it's extending component but it will still get the props passed in all right so that is a stateless functional component just kind of a shorthand way of creating components in react all right, so I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.